Hello guys and welcome to another video on, uh, for Unreal Engine 5. This is Unreal Engine 5.1 and uh, I want to talk about how to enable the top-down template to work completely with multiplayer setup. So this is a brand new top-down template setup. Okay, uh, And then uh, uh, what I'm setting up here is to have the net mode to be played as listen server number of players are two which means that the editor will be the server and the less listening server meaning that you have a player also playing as the server right and then you have another window for a client so now if i play the game I play the game you can see the two windows popping uh one window pops up as the client and that's the server and then the default template would work partially uh, for multiplayer games so if you if you're holding down the left mouse button and move you can see at that moment is actually uh, doing fine on both the server and the client. Okay. And the same goes for the server to be replicated to what's happening on the client. Right. Uh, but there's one caveat, which is if you use just the traditional clicking to define the location to go, you can see that the, the client just moves briefly and doesn't really go there right while the server is doing the right thing as you can see on both the windows by left clicking uh, now the reason for that is because uh, the code set up uh, i don't know why they are not making it work in the first place right uh, but the code set up is uh, is having everything ready except it's missing one important uh, setup if you look at the the, the controller uh, and uh, you can see that there are two functions one is on input started we uh, uh, oh, this one on set destination trigger which means when you're holding down the left mouse button right it basically just add in that moment input uh, with the direction uh, which is the same as the basic uh, first person or third person control uh, so that's why it's working right away because the character movement component will take care of that uh, f take care of that uh, with a very nice replication uh, setup already. Uh, however, the left click right, is using the AI navigation, right? The, the, the simple move to location with the AI blueprint library, which internally is using the navigation system, right, to, to go there, um, which is, you know, would work in a single player game. But the problem is that the, the, in the default setting, the server is the only one that runs AI, uh, including the navigation. Uh, so that's what's happening here. And of course, uh, uh, if that's the case, then the client side wouldn't even be able to navigate. And that's why it just have a brief movement. And that brief movement is actually issued by this function altogether. So this never works on the client, right? Okay, uh, so the solution is actually very simple here. The solution to make it work on the client side by left clicking is to simply go to the project settings and then search for allow client side navigation. And that single change, and remember this is 5.1, an older version may require you to do more. I will explain why, right? <laughs> but here in 5.1 this is all you have to do uh, with the third person template if you left click you can see now it's, it's doing and we can even test if it is actually utilizing the movement component properly and we can do that by uh, hitting the tilde button and tapping in net em emulation package lag 2000 which means that we're actually artificially making uh, lagging with two seconds Right now, if I move on the client, you can see the client will move first. Well, the server stays after two seconds, the server moves, right? And there's some package loss and some weird things there. Uh, but you can see now how the client still have instant feedback. The server just needs to catch up with that. And if something happens here in the middle that's causing uh, some like like that, you can see how there is some 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 correction happening, right? If the server actually moves that way, 
I can't really make that happen. Uh, but uh, if something happens on the server that's actually different uh, to what the client's happening because there is the same time, time differences, the server will correct it. But if everything is happening uh, exactly the same, even the server is a little delayed, the server would be okay with that and there's no correction needed, which gives the player a very smooth experience, right? And that, that's what the character moment component is doing its magic uh, to, to get it to work. Okay. Now you'd be surprised that you don't get this behavior uh, if you're trying to do this uh, without the template. Right? Even you do the same code in the coding because there's also another tricky hitting setting uh, there. I can I can show you that actually. So if you open that top-down character, there is a tricky setting here in the character movement. Uh, and down there if you look for the uh, the navigation set session. Okay. And the tricky setting is this one. Use acceleration for path. And if you have the cursor here, it's saying if set, the path following will control character movement uh, via acceleration values. If false, it will set velocity directly. And that actually makes a huge difference because uh, the reason that the input works, uh, add movement input works, is that that's actually using the, uh, the acceleration. Uh, internally, if I can go there. Uh, so it's, it's changing that acceleration, if I can find the code, right? Acceleration, right? That acceleration uh, is the one that the component understand that needs to be replicated to the server and do all its magic for that modular game to work automatically, right? Uh, for the moment, uh, while the, uh, the the direct velocity change doesn't know about that, right? So if this is checked out, which is ironically the default setting, right? Uh, then you'll get that really weird behavior. Uh, if you take a look at that. No, oh, because I set up the lag. The lag is real because the, that, the, the two second lag is also happening when you're logging in to the server. So we need to wait for a bit. <laughs> okay. Now if I try to move, you can see uh, that the, the whole movement is never really replicated replicated at all. The 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 rotation is replicated. Animation does not work. <laughs> you can see that there's a whole lot of problem in this setup, and which is again ironically the default setup. And there were some other solutions people were proposing, which is you actually create a remote procedural call to ask the server to move, which then have the movement from the server to replicate back to the client. But that's going to cause the client to not move immediately, right? Uh, but the server will move, and then after two seconds, the client starts to move, uh, which would be okay, right? Some games are like that. Uh, but uh, the ideal thing would be the client will move right away, even if there's a lag, and then correction will be done if there is, uh, a, a, if the client is somehow deviate to the actual thing happening on the server, right? That's the ideal solution there. <clears throat> so, uh, so then, yeah, uh, the solution here then will be that if you're making your own character, make sure that you go to the character movement component and have that acceleration for pass check down. And that's, that one also have a default setting of 200, I believe, or something. I will always change that to 50, which means that when the navigation went to somewhere close to 50 units away from the destination, right, that's when the, the, the braking starts to happen, right, the slowdown starts to happen. Um, uh, and I will give you a, a very predicted uh, movement result. Okay. Uh, so yeah, that should be it. I can take, uh, show you that if you make a new character here, right, uh, as your own character there, you can see, oh, stop that. You can see the problem is that navigation uh, is acceleration for pass is checked off, which is, you know, uh, what's preventing the multiplayer game to work right away by just checking on the allow client um, navigation in, in the project settings, which actually confuses a whole lot of people on the internet. Okay, so uh, yeah, hopefully this can solve the issue for anyone who is struggling with the top-down. Uh, I do struggle with it for some long time before, but now 
the solution seems pretty clear and robust. Okay, I hope that Epic Game would actually make that uh, also to make it work right away. All they have to do is for their surface and top down for their top-down template, right? All they have to do is to just enable that allow client-side navigation and they'll be fine. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, so if they just make that change, then this will just work right away uh, for, for people who want to try. All right, that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.